And my solid guy is T. Higgins from the Cincinnati Bengals. So, T. Higgins, while most people, you know, have Jamar Chase propped up as a flashy number one guy on their team, a solid pick is still T. Higgins because people still forget about him despite how many flashes and splashes that we can give you about T. Higgins is, is not as good as Chase, but just under that. It doesn't matter how many times we say it. People still forget. I mean, he finished as a top 20 wide receiver last year. I think that he could easily either do that again or even possibly raise the bar a little bit if he gets any more target share that is could be coming his way. So I think T. Higgins is as solid as they come and exactly the kind of guy that you're going to take in the third or fourth round and he's going to pay off for you. I 100% agree. I've been a fan of, I think we've all been a fan of T Higgins since he started and Jamar Chase did take the reins last year, obviously, but T Higgins, what he did was not like not laughable. Like he still consistent, got better from last year. If anything, Jamar Chase actually helped him be more of a consistent receiver. So T Higgins I, actually had a higher target share than Jamar Chase last year, which mm-hmm. is, just blows my mind Crazy to think about. after how effective both of those guys were. So oh, it's because Jamar Chase only needed one catch for 80 yards. Yeah, it's true. He was burning. Absolutely burning. So I'm gonna go with mine. We got Darnell Mooney. He's my solid guy. Homer alert guys. I want to hear it on this one, but not really, but during this slime-tastic season the Bears had last year, Mooney still put up 140 targets and hit 1,000 receiving yards. This year, we're looking at a guy with zero competition, none, and much better play calling. Luke Getze comes over from the Packers. Uh, he should be doing those rollouts, get him open, uh, that sort of thing. So Mooney is going at wide receiver 26 right now and 69 overall. <laughs> nice. nice. Uh, my guy finished his wide receiver 22 last year. And he has been lighting it up in camp this far. He really looks primed to take the jump into the top 15 territory. He was number one in broken tackles at the wide receiver position last year and sixth overall in separation. And he's going in the sixth round. Gimme, 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 gimme. I love it. You know I'm a proponent for uh, Mooney because I literally traded Cooper Cup for him. Um, the little extras that turn into Calvin that's Ridley, true. which is a sad, sad, sad move, but... We did it, and that's what matters. Um, no, I love Mooney this year. Um, I think just even before all the crazy offseason stuff that happened where they basically just, like, gutted their whole roster and continue to, question mark, with Roquan Smith. Um, <laughs> I just – I know that Mooney's the future here, and there is going to be someone else that's added in the future years. But as of right now, Mooney's the only guy. He's going to have to do something. Yeah, Justin Fields needs a target, and although Cole Komet is coming on – I think that, you know, until further notice, Mooney to the moon. I mean, that that's what we're going to be talking about this entire season. Moon man to the moon. So speaking of homers, let's talk about my solid wide receiver this year. And that's AJ Brown. And I'm not, I'm not falling into the camp news and I'm not just preaching about the Eagles for once. This is actually just a solid wide receiver. We've all known this. We've seen what he's done in the past. Um, so there's already reports coming out and yes, I'm going to get into some camp news because I see a lot of Eagles camp news. There's already reports that hurts is throwing to AJ Brown a lot. Uh, and I'm sure this is in part a little bit to Devonte Smith, not practicing at the moment. There's also actually surprisingly been news about Rager doing well, which we'll see. Uh, but That's also camp right. News at its finest. Trade camp. News. That is camp news or camp trade, trade news. news, camp trade news. But anyway, they got AJ Brown for a reason. I'm not sure exactly what his exact role is going to be but I do know that they're practicing this quick slant over and over again in practice. Devontae Smith had 900 yards in his rookie season, and he was essentially the only receiver on the team. So I'm imagining that both these guys are running, going to be running around, and A.J. Brown is about 50 pounds heavier than Smith. He's a no-brainer. Um, I actually didn't like – I thought that him being on the Eagles would dr- drop his draft stock, but the Eagles' stock has been rising. So he's like wide receiver 12-ish right now which is fine. I think it's a little high, but I think you're not upset about AJ Brown being on your team, especially seeing what he's done the last three years. He's a top 10 wide receiver and he has the potential to break out if Hertz actually is the dude. So I like AJ Brown a lot this year. He's good. Uh, the only concern is they continue that ground and pound nonsense. Cause your guys' line is so good. So if that continues, it probably takes a little bit away from AJ Brown, but otherwise the talents there, the opportunities there. So I really so, like him. 
I think that's what's so impressive about the slant because that's basically part of the ground and pound game. And yeah. that's why I, I had seen that it was like one, one day in camp, they literally just threw the slant to AJ Brown, like a hundred times was what they said. So I'm, a- I'm AJ Brown's a good receiver. And I think that they got him to be the one on that team. Devonte Smith needs this. If he's going to develop and continue to get better. And the fact that he's going to have AJ Brown ahead of him to, you know, kind of shoulder the main workload. I think this is only going to mean good things for Hertz. I think this is only going to mean good things for Miles Sanders in the running game. I mean, just having a, a field stretcher of AJ Brown's caliber. I mean, you had Devontae Smith already, but now with these two guys out there roaming the field, it's going to be tough for the Eagles. I mean, there's no excuse for Hertz this year, unfortunately. Yeah. No, there really isn't. But the great thing about this is, and I'm, I'll stop talking about the Eagles eventually. But the great thing about this is we do have two first round picks next year. So if it isn't hurts, we can figure out a way to get the guy who is.